Exploring the Zeta Orbital Equation, or ZOE for short, it might seem to hint at convergence at first glance. However, the true essence of the ZOE lies in understanding how subsequent self-localizations of the Riemann zeta function naturally align. Unlike analytic continuation, which coerces zeros from an erratic function in non-convergent regions, the ZOE quietly explores the intrinsic nature of these zeros, undisturbed by the function's complex behavior. Welcome back. In this video, we'll delve deeper into the concept of orbital invariance, rooted in the core properties of the Riemann zeta function, which offers an intriguing prediction about the alignment of its zeros. What we are seeing right now is the path traced by the dynamic truncation at n equals t squared as we traverse the critical line. To better understand the Zoe's properties, we'll venture into the complex plane beyond the critical line while employing a bit of analytic continuation. This is not to force the function to converge, but rather to center align the set of partial sums as if it represents a zero. This alignment allows for an easier evaluation. Here we're utilizing the value of the either defined zeta function as it harmonically converges within the critical strip. Animating a smooth transition confirms the harmonic divergence of the original zeta function for all t. The centering technique can now be uniformly applied across an entire truncation path. Let's now observe how the centered Zoe value evolves as we trace the imaginary line at different values of the real part sigma. You'll notice that the plot often takes on the characteristics of an outward or inward spiral with a decreasing pitch. Right at the inflection point, the plot transforms into a circular shape. This phenomenon is what we refer to as the zeta orbital invariance. Now the edge is that, when dealing with actual zeros, the manual center alignment ceases to play a role, allowing our analysis to focus on the original series. In this context, zeros reveal themselves and are characterized as the set of zeta self-localizations uniquely defined by the property that, for any given value of t, they share a consistent and invariant value of sigma. While this alone doesn't establish the precise value, algebraic or numerical evaluation confirms that in this case, sigma equals 0.5. It thus appears that the orbital invariance provides an uncomplicated route beyond the allure of dazzling mathematics to consistently placing the self-localizations and therefore all the Riemann zeta zeros on the critical line. 